In this lecture, we are introduced to some basic circuits like voltage source, current source. And what I really want to say, why is the internal register of an either current source equal to infinity? And why is the internal register of an ideal voltage source equal to zero? If you don't know, keep watching this video. Hey, hi, it's me again. First, I want to say a source. Source gives energy to register, inductor, and capacitor. There's two kinds of source. One is voltage source, the other is current source. Voltage source in an electric circuit is an element that provides a predetermined voltage drop across its terminals. It provides a constant voltage in a nutshell. We typically have two schematic symbols for voltage source. The first one looks like this. Another symbol that you will see quite often is a circle with a plus and minus in it. Well, current source is an electric circuit, is an element that provides a predetermined constant current through a terminal. The symbol for a current source is this one. We can see an arrow. It goes in the direction of current, constant current. We'll get more into that in a bit. Why is the internal register of an ideal voltage source equal to zero. We discuss how we can change practical voltage source to ideal voltage source. It's important to keep in mind where you are dealing with real-world circuit. Practical voltage source has an internal register in series. But ideal voltage source is cool. 3 volt voltage source, just as it is. Resistor load measured in 3 volt. And that's very cool. As I said before, practical voltage source has registered in series. Look at this picture. Voltage supply energy, but internal register still a bit of volt because of voltage divide rule. How can you change practical voltage source to ideal voltage source? It's simple. Make internal register 0 ohm. And then it can be changed short circuit. So we can say that internal register of an ideal voltage source is equal to zero. Next one is ideal current source. Why is the internal register of an ideal current source equal to infinity? As I said before, ideal source literally want to carry out all of their energy. Likewise, ideal current source. But Ideal current source is different from ideal voltage source. Ideal current source has an internal register in parallel. Ideal voltage source. Ideal voltage source has an internal register in series. Look at this one. Why is the internal register of an ideal current source equal to infinity? We can prove it by two methods. First, by using current property. Current dislike register. The circuit have two register in parallel. Ten ohms. 1 ohms. More current flow into 1 ohm. This current property. Current like less register. 10 ohm are getting more and getting more and more and more. It turns infinity. Infinity is very powerful, not easy. It is literally difficult flow current. All current flow into 1 ohm. We can make that current flow into register of 1 ohm totally by using infinity. Second, we can prove by using current division rule and mass. Internal register still a bit of amp. Let's start to make internal register useless. This is current division rule. Register total, one over register total equal one over register internal plus one over register load. Let's make register internal Infinity ohm. 1 over infinity is equal to 0. Formula 1 over R total equal to 1 over R load. And then, register total is equal to register load. Register total is equal to register load. It means that current cannot help flowing into register load. Therefore, the internal register of an ideal current source is equal to infinity. Okay, 
I conclude this video nonsense. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this has been helpful. Bum, doo 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 doo